Things to order, 734. Um, can one of you take notes by any chance? Yeah, I can take some notes. Is there like a format, a formatted thing? Um, well, it's the agenda. So if you get the All agenda right. off I'll the just do that. website or the town website, you can just use that. Okay. Um, no public participation. Uh, did you guys get a chance to see the notes from last month? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's go around. Do we all approve? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Minutes approved for August. Um, next item. We were just talking about the um school waste stuff. Um, and if you are available this week, we could use some help at Dolbear for the food rescue. Which day? Uh, so Christina's going on Friday, so maybe Wednesday or Thursday. So tomorrow? Yeah. Um, probably can't do Thursday. I have meetings right around lunchtime, but I can probably do tomorrow. Okay. The timing, can you remind me of the timing? So it's 11.30 to 1.30. Um, I think oh, the most important thing is to make sure that the cooler is brought over. I don't know, have you been there before? No. Oh, okay. Um, so the, we have this like rolling cooler um, that's kind of over by where they walk in to buy their lunch. The door is uh -huh. over there and there's like a fridge right next to it. Uh -huh. So the biggest thing is just to make sure that cooler is pulled over in front of the stage. Okay. And and the sign is on it and then the cooler packs from the fridge just go in it okay and then if you can't stay the whole time um you know maybe we could you could talk to somebody there to make sure that the food goes back in the fridge after the last yeah. lunch and the packs go back in the freezer okay does anyone at Dolbear know the routine yet or not so really there's no lunch monitor there yet so that's why okay. we're scrambling this week um i didn't talk to the vice principal today and you know she assured me that somebody would do it but i'm just not sure who so <laughs> right. just need to i think talk to the i mean there's like two lunch ladies that like help out they go out to recess they like switch on and off Mm -hmm. go to lunch then they go to recess and then they come back so there's two that kind of like rotate like that um so maybe you could talk to one of them and they maybe they can help out if you have to leave early okay so basically the cooler has to come out to the center in front of the center stage the cooler packs from the fridge go in it and then they put the kids put their food that is unopened in yep. that space and then yep. it goes back into the fridge after lunch is over yep yeah yep. okay okay um, yeah, I'll make sure that I connect with someone in the lunch, the lunch lady crew, <laughs> if I have to leave early. Okay, great. That's awesome. Thank you. And then the actual pickup of the food to take it to the yeah, Cheyenne's club is separate. covering that okay. um, this week until okay. we have kind of more established volunteers. Got it. Got it. Thank you. I mean, the kids like totally understood like what to put in there, so it wasn't. Mm -hmm. you know a That's huge good. amount of like teaching it's it's more like the setup and the breakdown that needs help this right. week okay yeah so it's just it's just the the unopened food that they buy at the cafeteria nothing from home nothing from home right so yeah that's still bare and then um Greenwood and Walton uh, have been going pretty well with the composting and food rescue. Um, I was at Walton on Friday and, um, you know, the kids, you know, the only people that really needed teaching was the kindergartners because they were new to it. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you know, the kids from last year understood what to do. Um, 
And so I'm going to go back there on Friday uh, just to talk to the lunch monitor because she wasn't there last week. And um, I think Cheyenne was going to go to Greenwood on Friday. Um, so, yeah, I think we really just need coverage Thursday at Dilbert. Okay. So I can talk to Cheyenne about that or, t or Tiana. Um, as far as uh, like opening up the composting to other schools, um, I talked to Tim O'Brien, the facilities director, and he kind of wanted to wait till schools kind of settles in a little bit until we, you know, approach the other principals. I know that like the Dolbear principal has been, you know, out a couple days. So he hasn't really been around, but um, I think he seems like he's more willing to to see how it goes. But I think we probably want to wait till October to approach him. Okay. And Woodville, I think, would be the last one because they're the biggest. And um, we'll have to see what the staffing situation is there. Because I know in the past they've been short-staffed much. So... So yeah, and then as far as like the Galvin goes, um, I would really like to jumpstart the recycling program there again. Mm -hmm. um, but I really need to understand like what what stuff is in the cafeteria that could be recycled. Because previously it was mostly like those big clamshells. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it was just like, salad in the clamshells so they would be dirty basically mm -hmm. so we wouldn't be able to really recycle them because they'd be just like full of dressing and stuff so i'm just trying to understand like what are the what are the products in the cafeteria that we could be recycling so i may touch base with the food director and see like what he's offering there this year um because a lot of the kids like don't even have water bottles they just bring their own so it's just mm -hmm. what actually can be recycled I know that they do paper recycling in the classroom so it's just a matter of figuring out like what are the options what are the food options in the cafeteria this year that could be recycled mm -hmm. and then kind of seeing if there's anybody in the school that could help with you know being like kind of a recycling coordinator or if there's any students that are interested it's really like we need more buy-in from people on the inside I think to make it successful yeah. um, so how about composting over there yeah I mean I think it would be great if we had recycling and composting yeah you know mm -hmm. and trash we could have I did talk to Tim about having kind of like a one system one bin system with all three kind of all together because right now we have kind of like a big recycling toter thing that looks like our trash one <laughs> that we use at home so maybe that's kind of confusing but that's what we have mm -hmm. and then we have like trash bins that kind of get circulated around the cafeteria so I think it would be better if we kind of had just one station which is kind of how they designed that cafeteria to begin with there was mm -hmm. like these like windows that they set up but like that system apparently didn't work out so they like closed it up so I think trying to get back to having just one spot that has everything is would be beneficial um instead of having like kids running around like there's trash over there there's recycling over there you know Kind of how we have it set up at the uh, elementary schools where everything is just one, in one place, all the bins. Right. Right there. So, so yeah, um, Galvin is another, it's a different beast to tackle than the elementary schools because they just yeah. have, it's bigger, it's so much bigger and they just have so many other issues that are more important. So... I mean, the more that we get to the elementary schools, like I am noticing that those kids are just so well versed in it now. And like mm -hmm. those kids, you know, part of them who went to the schools that did that, they're now at the Galvin. Yeah. So it's yeah. Like right. They know how to do it's like different mm -hmm. to not do this now. Yeah. Uh, it's you know, point. so it is something to think about. Yeah. I mean, 
uh, I think the biggest hurdle is the Calvin administration. Yeah, right, right, mm -hmm. right. They're uh, tough nuts to crack. Yeah. The kids are great at it, though. The what? The kids were great, like um, in Greenwood. Like I was there the other day and they. Oh, yeah. Like the older kids, they're just like, you know, they just yeah. do it. That's great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I will, I'm going to contact Dustin. Cycling. I think you muted Melissa. Oh, is that on purpose? <laughs> Background noise. I see. <laughs> um, so that's that. I don't know like what what we're gonna do like at the high school. Um, I'd like to touch base with our well, we're gonna have new student liaisons, so maybe they can help out there. Mm -hmm because the previous one previous guys was in the recycling club but I don't know what they were doing it's a mix mix messaging mm -hmm. success of that club so um yeah I need to actually see about the student liaison soliciting and is that only for the high school or do you do a liaison for the Galvin too? I forget what the age limit is. Oh, they have to be like 14 or something or. I don't remember. Um, but I mean, that's a good point. You know, if we can get somebody in from the Galvin, that would be great. Yeah, I can, I mean, I should ask her, but I can volunteer my daughter who's in seventh grade for the Galvin. <laughs> Do you want to help with the recycling? I mean, I, I'll ask her because she, all she reports is that there's like, no, cause I always ask her if there is recycling and she's like, there's nothing, you know? So mm -hmm. um, I can just yeah. ask her to see if she, you know. Is, she, is this her first year there? No, she's in seventh grade. Oh. So this is her third year there. Mm -hmm. Um, but at least she could tell us the, you know, the ends of what actually happens there and mm -hmm. what kind of things, you know, containers there are and stuff. I'll pick her brain. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, it's just been tough with like the vice principal there. It's yeah. just kind of like bringing, like shutting down the recycling program and then not telling anybody yeah just not a lot oh, that stinks I yeah that. That, is, that stinks not a lot of communication right so that's why it'd be best to have somebody on the inside kind of coordinating because yeah I can't coordinate on the outside right yeah see if there's an age or if there's like some sort of I don't know rule out there about somebody yeah. be a like liaison because I can see if her and maybe some friends would be interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for school waste stuff. Um, Okay, so Christina, you're going there to Gilbert Friday. Lillian. Yeah, I'll go on Friday. Yep. Going tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just telling Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Um, next is the Green Business Program. So we have, I want to talk about promotion of it um, at Town Day. Yeah. I don't know if either of you are available to help at Town Day October 7th. Um, I have a booth there for my business, so I'll be there. Okay. In some capacity. <laughs> so I might be able to help. I'll have to check. But I'll let you know. Hopefully I can. Is it how long is it? How many hours? Like from one o'clock to four o'clock, I think. Or was that sound right? Yeah. But we would do like two hours. Shifts. Shifts. Yeah, yeah, shifts. Okay. Yeah. I I can probably help with one of those shifts. Okay. Yeah, so I was thinking we could promote it there, um, the program, you know, as long as we we have another meeting with the town people. Mm -hmm. uh, 26, I think. 26, yeah. So they, I guess, what they were going to do was... Aaron was going to check with the health department and see Mayo. Um, and then John from the chamber was going to get feedback from the board of directors. Right. And I was going to look into like uh, education, somebody that could help the businesses. Um, I did email, there's a group called Green Restaurant Association in Boston. Mm -hmm that I emailed, but I haven't heard anything. So I don't know what, what's going on there, but I don't, I'm not exactly sure like who else would be available to do that. That kind of like, you know, besides us, that kind right. of does it for a living or whatever. Right. In terms of the promotion, um... Is it something that, um, oh my God, I just lost my train of thought. Um, in terms of the approach, is it something that's like available to businesses? Are we promoting it like this is something that you can do or is it, this is something that's like in the works at well, town? We'll, we'll have to see what happens at that meeting, I think. Okay. Like, as far as what we can say, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. Timing, yeah. Right. Cause I was thinking if I, if I can be a green business and I can get green business certified, I can be there with that. Well, if we have the logo or something, and then I can speak to it to anybody who comes up and says, what's that? And I'll say, oh, we're also green business certified and talk that way. Um, but I'm not sure if time wise that would work out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, a little tight. Not, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I'm just thinking like if we do, we would have to figure out like who would be paying for like you know the stickers and mm -hmm. whatever other promotional stuff we want to do and the right. certificates or whatever we want to give to businesses. So right. We'd have to work all that out, I think, with uh, the town. Um, Because, I mean, this is going to be a town-sponsored program. It's not just going to be, you know, ESC, I believe. So, um, yes, we'll have to see what happens at that meeting as far as, like, the go-live uh, right. date or whatever. Okay, sounds good. But so yeah, as far as like stuff to have at the table, how much time do we have to figure that out? Right, like I was just trying to think of what's the... We have like, yeah, like a little uh, less than two weeks after that meeting. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we could just like print out the you know, document that we put together that has all the different categories and stuff just so can pe people can understand. ATM. Mm -hmm. We can't hear you. 
Sorry, I'm so late. Oh, <laughs> now we can. I'm in. No worries. We were just talking about the green business program and how we want to, I want to promote it at the town day. Mm. We're going to have, but it's dependent on what is decided at our next meeting. With right. Have we gotten any feedback in the meantime? No. I don't know if, uh, I should ask for feedback or we're just waiting for that call. Oh, we're just waiting for that call. Hmm. Um, yeah, as far as like the education person, I guess. you guys have any ideas or can help search for that hmm. so this would be a team or a, this would be people to help um businesses that want to get green business certified and how to go about that yeah i think it'd be more like we would provide kind of like that mm -hmm. piece as far as like explaining the program and helping them like go through the program process or whatever. This is more for, um, I would think, on the, like the purchasing side uh, and I think, you know, the organizational side. Okay. This like organizational side, purchasing like operational stuff. I got you, okay. You know, how do you, how do you go about like, you know, turning your business into a business? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you go about those actions in our list, basically? Okay. So, I mean, there's a, if you go on, um, if you search like Green Restaurant Association, they do have like an education portal. But I think what we were talking about with the businesses and not just like pointing at them. Would the city like sponsor some sort of introduction class? I don't know, like for those who are expressed interest in the program to like come and learn all the basics on how to get started on the program. I don't know if that's something they would consider doing at like the library or some public space. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, I think doing some sort of public forum mm -hmm. that we, we would introduce the program, mm -hmm. uh, but this educational piece is more of like hands-on with the businesses, like, like going okay, to the now, individual Now you understand business. what the program is, how do you go about carrying it? actions in the program like what are the things that you need to do as far as procuring products just talking to staff you know all the stuff yeah so you don't could that happen in like a, a setting similar to you know like a like a class class setting are you thinking somebody has to go to each business and do it one-on-one -on -one? no it was, yeah it could be like a webinar or something. like a webinar right yeah Some, something where like those interested who signed yeah. up join the webinar yeah, like and get the, chamber, get the basics on how to kick things off yeah yeah the chamber would, would mm -hmm. probably be able to help us with like yeah the forum 
I think it's just a matter of finding the person. Finding the person. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah that is tricky. The expertise needed might depend a little bit on the sort of mix of businesses that sign up, or or we might just have to have different ones for different audiences, right? Like folks mm -hmm. who food food service businesses are going to have somewhat different set of things they need to do and stuff to procure and roll yeah. out challenges than yeah. a law firm. True. I feel like a regular business is not going to have like a huge amount of challenges because it's not Probably a not. big yeah. lift. Yeah. So yeah, Tiana, I was just saying that I, I contacted um, this group called uh, Green Restaurant Association. They're actually based in Boston, um, but I haven't heard back. So I was just trying to figure out like who else we could reach out to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we could go, we don't really need someone locally if we're gonna do like a webinar. Mm -hmm. Though I there there might be some amount of like local sourcing or that sort of like a you know, business based in California might have or a, an advisor based in California might have different suppliers that they would recommend that we maybe wouldn't want to necessarily go for but but it sure might be easier if we don't have to find someone yeah. Nearby. Mm -hmm. We might also just be able to sort of gather some of that advice and just put together a a page of you know a couple of pages of info. That's true. There's probably a line somewhere about like we can't say, hey, here's a great product. I don't know, maybe we can if it's direct advice to a particular business. I know we can't like post that on yeah. our Facebook, but uh -huh. you know, if we say like here's some some good options for mm -hmm. these types of products or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think if we provide a list of options, mm -hmm. then we'll have a problem. Yeah. I also wonder, I mean, can we make some sort of like forum or way for those businesses to share with one another? Like, hey, I found this good one you know, and they share that around rather than it just being sort of one direction us to them. Yeah. I mean, that would, that would be part of like mm -hmm. the rollout of the program. Like okay. hopefully we could, you know, give them a list of products, you know, that would be suitable for them to switch to. And then yeah, as far as like cost sharing, maybe the chamber could help with that. Mm -hmm. Right. We get a discount if we buy these kind of cups in extreme bulk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think like. If I could get a hold of this green restaurant, they would probably have like more information about like purchasing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have a little bunch of stuff on their website. Big certified green products. I just don't know how old it's <laughs> So, yeah, it's, I'm not sure how much we'll be able to stay at town day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, very least it can be a teaser that it's coming, right? Yeah. I mean, you could definitely walk around and talk to all the business owners. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I don't know if a table's that, you know, there's enough to fill the table piece, but you can definitely walk around and, and at least just feel out people's interest. Yeah. Uh, what time do I set the alarm for? Don't stop. Google stop. <laughs> Google thought I was asking for something. Anyway, no, it's, I'm sure it's still listening. Um, sorry if someone said this already, but like when you're when you're walking around at town day um can we either collect email addresses of businesses that we can then send something to or like hand out a code like qr code sort of thing you know check back here for more info just like something for folks to stay in touch that you can hand them or get their info yeah my cat needs to be let into the cereal cabinet which is where she likes to sleep in <laughs> i'm sure she's kidding Aww. he's gonna curl up in there and go to sleep that's her that's her bed <laughs> <laughs> one of many beds she has a lot of places to sleep around the house but lately she really likes to curl up near cereal <laughs> that's really cool. um most of the business owners have like business cards that they hand out so if you go around and you collect you those you yeah collect hmm. those yeah, uh, you know, instead easiest. of like a clipboard and writing down every, you know, it might just be easier to collect business cards, just be like, you know, we'll reach out. We're doing this, this is our rollout. When it happens, we'll reach out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like that. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll probably, you know, depending on how the meeting on the 26th go, goes, like, we could walk around with like the example of the what we put together mm -hmm. just to kind of explain it a little bit better instead of you know just showing somebody what it would look like instead of talking about it So yeah, I think that's probably, yeah, because I guess it doesn't make sense to like have anything at our table since businesses will not be at our table. Uh -huh. They'll be at their table. They'll be at their table, correct, yeah. So we're going to have to have more people helping out that day if we're going to have walking around, but we'll see. And it wasn't that it's not that big of an event. Like it was just like one strip last year. So versus like the lakes, I forget what it's called. The, oh, the festival. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that is like very expanded. It's like all over the whole green. This is like a, it was a strip. Um, yeah, just no, one. We were there last year. Oh, you were there. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like, I mean, I don't think it would take too long to go through every, everybody. True. But maybe if you're having good conversations. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, if you guys have um, some time, maybe to help out finding somebody to help with education, that would be helpful. I wonder if the um that organization that I'd spoken with that has like an app for measuring stuff, I wonder if they have any materials on their site um or like advisory or stuff. I don't want to spend the 10k for their their like tool for for tracking the program, but they might have some some info. Yeah. Cool. yeah, I mean that's the other thing, like how much do we want to pay for this? education piece.
Um, are there other towns nearby that have rolled out something and they might have advisors? I mean, we looked at when we did the research on green business programs, we didn't really find anything locally, right? Not much. Um, yeah, so I think that's, you know, I really just have to see what happens on at the next meeting. We talk with, to the town and what the path forward is, timing, and what, what we want to do. But yeah, as far as town day, you know, we can walk around and, and talk to people about the program. I think that's the best thing to do. Um, that's all that was on the agenda. So, anything not on the agenda you want to talk about? I saw Tiana that you contacted the health department again. I did, and he wrote back and said that he would check with Candace. So, Candace is who the chair of the board of health, I think. So there's the health department and the board of health. Anthony is the health department. Yeah. Candace is the board of health. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So you see any meetings posted for them? <sighs> is this about the recycling at um, apartment complexes? Yeah. No. Um, I would guess that it would be the 20th um, based on their typical schedule of third Wednesday, because I don't see it on the 13th. So I would assume that it's the 20th. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is for the recycling of buildings. I basically said like, if we're gonna do a bylaw, we kind of need to get on that right away for this upcoming town meeting. So are we going that route or do you think you all can health department regulation this thing? Uh, so I, that, which would be my preferred route. I really think like they're the ones with teeth to enforce stuff and do fines and everything. So, you know, I think that would be a better approach than a bylaw. So we just need them to. I mean, especially since we have so many new buildings going up in town, mm -hmm. like we really need something on the books soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was relieved to learn that the um, Grayson Lofts has recycling. Oh, good. That was good, because that's a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mom is moving there next month. Oh, wow. So that's she will exciting. no longer have to bring her recycling to my house. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking forward to not having to do that. It's going to be even closer. Yes. <laughs> well, she wants to stop driving. So oh, okay. being walking closer walking distance to town and to us. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Recycling was not a factor. It was just <laughs> icing on the cake. Well, at least now we know. <laughs> yes. Well, we got that listing from like that I was able to triangulate the stuff from the DPW and the health department on like where they do or do not have it. So I was pretty sure that they did, but it was good to hear it from, from them directly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the, the biggest one that doesn't is that high rise over by um, uh, over by Linfield marketplace. What's that one called? The really tall one. Oh. By Winfield? I can't that. picture it. It's like in the um this is not useful. It's near my bed. By the business park or yeah. I didn't know there was apartments over there. Oh, there are apartments over there. There's one oh, there's like a mm -hmm. nice new looking building, like right when you pull in. Mm -hmm. I don't I think that one I don't know if that one has recycling, but then like when you get further in, there's a really tall one. 
like tallest building in town for sure yeah. um that is not new and does mm-hmm. not look i was i guess i'll say i was not that surprised to learn that they don't recycle yeah mm-hmm. But that's a bummer because that's a pretty big building. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, at least we have cardboard recycling and now we have metal recycling for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Better than mm-hmm. nothing. We should definitely spread the word about that at Town yeah. Day. It's a good idea. Metal. Metal mm-hmm. and cardboard. Both are, are great to have. I mean, you can just like print out a picture of them or something like just a little did you know you can bring these over to Nahant you don't need a permit mm-hmm. yeah but you do need to go when they're open yes but they're open a lot yeah. like most of Saturday and Sunday and Wednesday mm-hmm. Wednesdays I recycled a tire today well I brought it to the Wakefield tire people car driving down our street lost a tire in the middle of the night a couple nights ago like we heard a wop, 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 brrr, as the tire just like escaped the car and the car just kept going but I, you know in the morning there's a tire sitting in the middle of our road so and nobody I, came to get it oh no no it was broken like it was oh it's like a exploded flat, tire. exploded yeah, yeah. <laughs> exploded like it was just the outer part of the t- it was clearly that tire was not going to go back on the car but okay. it was sitting in the middle of the road so i brought it back to my driveway and i thought like well I, what do i how do i how do i do this darn thing but yeah. i rocked it over to the wakefield tire people and they so that they would properly recycle it for me good job nice Good work. Oh, it's a little weird though like walking through the center of town <laughs> holding a <it> tire <laughs> <laughs> good samaritan mm-hmm. <laughs> well bulky item i want it to get recycled <laughs> um tiana are you available to go to del bear thursday we have people going lillian's going tomorrow christina's going friday we just need thursday for del bear yeah I, yeah i can do that especially if then i'm not doing friday Yep. Yeah, I can do what that. time is it? It's eleven. It's eleven thirty to one thirty, but if you get there, you can get there like around eleven forty five, which I did today, and um and it was like the end of the first lunch. So we just need to make sure that the cooler is is out, which it wasn't today. So got it. Cool. Okay. Um yeah, I should be able to do that. Awesome. I was over there on Monday, and then I had to walk home in a hurry. So maybe this time I'll bring my bicycle. <laughs> Great. Um, anything else? Lily, have, have you done a lunch at Walton? I haven't yet. So it was funny being at other, like I did Greenwood last week, and I did Dole Bear on Monday. And it was funny being at other kindergartners' lunches. <laughs> mm. Yeah, <laughs> I saw a couple of of former kinder care folks familiar faces <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, Ryan's mom yeah oh yeah you should uh talk to your is it your daughter or your son at my Walton? son my son at Walton yeah um, yeah tell him all about the composting I will he <laughs> he just always brings his own lunch and eats every last bite of it but maybe he can <laughs> educate some friends <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean that's great yeah. that's fantastic yeah <laughs> <laughs> but still I mean I was trying to go around last Friday when I was there to like especially the kindergartners and just going around at the tables and talking about like do you know what composting is you know just kind of educate them mm-hmm. so that's great yeah I'll start and working did- on the Woodville once I get a little more in I feel like yeah that, that's your that's your assignment yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll get there um do the folks at the front door who buzz you in are they expecting people to come 
so help there's out at a, lunch this week. There's, yeah, there's a doorbell thing on mm-hmm. the front door that you just say, hey, I'm here. To, I'm here to help with the lunch yeah, situation. Okay. Area, and then you just go into the office and sign in. Okay, perfect. And the cafeteria is right across from the office. Great. I've never been in the Dolby before. That'll be exciting. <laughs> yeah, you're really just into like the first part of the school because mm-hmm. everything where the cafeteria and the offices and then the rest of the school is behind that. Mm-hmm. Well, um, ha- has Cheyenne sent out the volunteer thing for pickups? I don't think it's, I, I know she sent it to the couple of us for feedback. Yeah, right. That's all I saw. Um, I, I might not be on our like list. I don't know. But. Wider audience. I yeah, I mean, I think she was. The PTO, maybe. She was, was going to send it to the PTOs, and we should send it to the at least the set of folks who had volunteered last year, I would think. But I just haven't seen it go out. So I don't either. I mean, maybe she did, and she just didn't include us. Maybe. I'm sure she's on top of it. She could use all the help she can get. Totally. Well, that's why I want to know because, like, if she just hasn't hasn't sent it yet, and now, uh, like, it looks like this. It is can not. You tell who signed up or not? Um. So far, Christina Marcelino is signed up for Greenwood today. And Cheyenne was doing the others. No one signed up for Thursday. Cheyenne signed up for Friday. I signed up for Tuesday next week for Walton and Dolbear. But I, so this Christina signed up, who is not one of us. So it's at least gone to somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she said she sent it to maybe the Greenwood PTO. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I don't right. Pickups happening that frequently? Like, so it's every couple days. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's it, last year got a little weird because we were doing like every other day, but then also kind of Fridays. So mm-hmm. It may be that we can do. I th- I don't know if there's like an optimal cadence. It's like Tuesday and Fridays. Like, yeah, right? Tuesday, Friday, or something. Yeah. Yeah, because right now it's Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, but that doesn't seem like they'll then be very much on Friday. Right. But it's, I don't know if she's trying to not have us do too much on Friday because like showing up on Friday with half a week's worth of food that then sits over the weekend maybe isn't ideal either. Yeah. Just Mm -hmm. in terms of it getting true eaten before it gets yucky. Well, she Um, did say that um, Food Link and Melrose, there's like uh, 20 families or something that love to get food on Fridays. So mm-hmm. okay. that's where it's going on Friday. Okay. Got it. Because Boys and Girls Club doesn't have to weekend stuff. So. Right. So, yeah. Um, and have we gotten them a fridge? Do we need to get them a fridge? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They're not being super responsive, I guess. Mm, okay. I mean, Cheyenne tried to get them a fridge last year. Right, I remember. <laughs> they didn't okay. pick it up. We'll let them, like, get settled into the routine of the year, and then we'll we can see what they need. I mean, ideally, a we would love to... for them to pick up the food when they pick up the kids. Yes. Yeah. But that coordination is more difficult than it seems. Do they pick up from all of the elementary schools? I know they pick up from Woodville because that's how Ryan gets there. Uh, I mean, they definitely do at Wallen and Greenwood. That's what we were trying to go. Oh. I think they do all of them. I wonder if it would be a matter of like, they'd pick it up, but they can't be bothered to like gather it all from the fridge. Like if someone at the school bagged it up and had it had ready, it ready. When, when the kids get on the bus. Yeah, I mean, we could, you know, get the after school program person maybe to do that. I don't know exactly. 
I don't know what the sequence is of who's doing what after school. Well, so the Boys and Girls Club sends a staff member to the school. Right. And like with the list of names and like gathers their herd of kids and gets them on the bus. Yeah. So is there somebody on the school side that's coordinating that? Like that could help do the food rescue thing. I don't know. That's I mean, question. I guess I will say <laughs> with, with fresh, fresh perspective with a kindergartner who is now needing to be corralled and gotten upon that bus. Uh, I don't know that I would want the Boys and Girls Club staff member distracted by having to wrangle a bunch of food and miss mm -hmm. wrangling my pre precious child. Mm -hmm. so, no. I'm not, I'm yeah. not actually sure that unless they had like an additional staff member helping with it, that it's yeah realistic to expect them to to pick up the food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the idea was that they would be wrangling the food and the kids. I think they would just be picking up ideally like a bag of food that's like ready and waiting for them yeah yeah so there needs to be coordination of somebody at the school to do that bagging and then right. coordination of the boys and between girls between the after so, hour like the, the between the end of lunch and the pickup of kids yeah yeah So hopefully we can get there. Are there um, kids that go to the Stoneham location, the teen one, or is that only Stoneham kids? I don't know. I would assume it's only Stoneham. I would, I would assume that too. Whenever I dropped off there, I feel like they were just streaming in from that school right next door, you know? Yeah. Um, so our next meeting is October 18th. So does that work? So that seems fine for me. Great. Yep, that works. Um, yeah, Lillian, if you could just send the notes around. When you get a chance, yes, to we'll take do. a look. And thank you for taking them. No problem. Do they have to go somewhere else after everybody reviews? So then we vote on him to approve next them week. Next, I mean next month, then. right? Okay. Yeah, and I'll send them to share. And then you send them. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. I think we are good for tonight. Okay. Uh, meeting adjourned. <laughs> All right. Good night.